Here's a relatively simple family uh, in that there's nothing nested into this. And there's no adaptive components. The idea of this one is that you've got some arbitrary shape down here. Let's tab into it. That I want to see what its projection would be if it was uh, focused up, like a like a beam of light, I suppose, up onto this surface up here, focused out onto this point of of uh, this point element right here. And what's kind of fun about this one is that if you grab this point, you can move it around and have that surface keep being reproduced out here on this other sort of arbitrary surface over here. Yes, yes, inaccuracies. Um, so I'll just show you quickly how to make this. Just delete that geometry. So I've got my surface down here. I've got my intervening surface here. I'm going to give myself a point that is just going to be posted on level 1. And I'm going to drag my point way up here. Call this my focal point. And I'm just going to do reference line. Uh, 3D snapping on. Going from my target point to that point. And then I'm going to host a point on this line, like so. Sorry, I made my points very small here because I don't like the really big points. Um, I can just show you how I did that. Points here and object styles have been reduced. I'll make them beefier again just so that they're easier to see. There, my beefy points. Um, and I've got this point that is now hosted on this line that passes through this surface, like so. And if I use my host point by intersection, I can go Shazam, and now that point is hosted both on that line and on the surface. So you don't have to think about this too much to see that you can just repeat that a few times, like that. And I'm just going to walk this thing around like this. I'm going to do two more, like that, and then one more, and I'll have my lines all penetrating down to that surface. I'm going to host a bunch more points here on these lines, and then each one of these points is going to in turn get hosted by intersection, oops, I missed it, on that surface. Uh, host point by intersection. They all snap up to attention. Do that four more times. And you know, as much as you want to increase the fidelity of this, you can keep adding points. I'm just going to do this many. One more. One more, two more. Uh, yeah, that's it. And then you just sew those points together with your spline by point tool. And because the spline by tw point tool that I'm using now uses the same, yep, that's fine with me, as the one down here, you're going to have the same shape, just it's going to be draped over this other form. So now I can move this point around, and I've got my surface moving around. Whoops, what's that guy? I can re-host that point, pick new host, and I'll put it right on that one. Uh, I'm having a little trouble here. Uh, you know what I need to do is I need to get this point and I need to host it on that line independently. Pick new host, hosting it on that line, fine, doesn't try a plane, and then I host that point by intersection. A little snafu. And there. Now we've got a nicely sewn up curve moves around. And if I move this guy around, my projection moves with it. And everybody's tied together.